welcome again guys okay this uh, is a two part tutorial in the first part i'm going to discuss two things first i'm going to discuss uh, uh, how a while loop works we have seen a while loop but now we will understand exactly the internal workings of a while loop this as a while loop we will understand exactly how it works okay next we will understand how a printf statement works that will be the first part of this lesson the second part of this lesson we are just going to do a few modifications to this program very few modifications and make this program much much better okay it's the same exchange rate program but we are just going to make it much better in using our modifications okay so let's start seeing how a while loop works okay so this is the while loop for you and this is the while keyword of the c programming language okay and a while loop works this way a while loop executes all the statements between these two braces open curly braces and closed curly braces for now these three statements it will execute as long as the condition inside the open braces and closed braces that means this one is true until it is true it keeps executing these three statements when this gets false okay it will fall through this closed curly braces and execute any other you know it will execute any other statements that exist after this braces in this case we do not have any other statements so it's going to come and end the program okay we will just uh, go through a dry run of the while loop okay a very very dry run and see how it exactly works you see the condition here is dollar less than upper dollar now dollar we have initialized to 1 and upper dollar is initialized to 5 so the condition exactly is 1 less than 5 1 is less than 5 so this is true now uh, we're going to execute this statement then this and then this okay uh, when it comes to this this is the increment statements what we are saying is dollar equal to dollar plus step as you observe step is 1 okay so now dollar becomes 2 when dollar becomes 2 it comes back to the condition again when it comes back to the condition again now we have the condition as 2 less than 5 2 less than 5 is true when 2 is less than 5 again it goes inside the while loop and executes all three statements the third statement again it increments the value of dollar when it increments the value of dollar uh, we have uh, again it goes to the condition statement we have three less than five when we have three less than five three is definitely less than five so it again goes and executes the three statements okay within the while loop and when it executes these three statements now the dollar is again incremented by one when the dollar gets incremented by one now dollar is four upper dollar is five this statement still holds true now what happens it comes again inside the loop it comes here it comes here it comes here now dollar is again incremented when dollar is incremented uh, now dollar is five okay now dollar is five and upper dollar is also five five is not lesser than five so what happens is this condition becomes false 
when this condition becomes false you know the statement execution comes to the end of this uh, close curly braces and falls off so as we don't have any other statements here it falls off and the program ends okay this is how exactly while loop works i'll just we just finished uh, discussing how exactly a while loop works i'm going to show you another form of writing a while loop okay so here it is okay uh, now we saw a while loop with an open curly brace and a closed curly brace here in this while loop okay now what i'm showing there is neither an open curly brace and a closed curly brace what i'm trying to show you is a while loop can also have just one single statement so then it will not need to have an open curly brace and a close curly brace what i'm trying to show you is a uh, is just to show you how a while loop with a single statement works please do not go into the correctness or the logic of these two statements that i'm showing you all you need to remember from this is there can be while loops with just a single statement with no open braces and close curly braces that's all i am trying to show you is that okay yes so here you you will observe that this is actually an infinite loop you know i if i happens to be one uh, and if you have this kind of a structure or two statements in your program what will happen is your program will never end until you end it manually it will just never end and it will keep on printing i equals 1 i equals 1 continuously uh, and you'll get a bit irritated about it let me tell you that so these are called infinite loops okay let me talk to you a bit about infinite loops okay when you have uh, when you have no condition inside a while loop something like this now you are in a while loop you are a while loop and an infinite while loop so it is very important you have a condition and you have a, not you not only have a condition uh, you should be very sure that you do not end up in a while loop before one more thing before i end the discussion about while loops for now is this what do, what do i mean by true or false okay there is a boolean data type in c that is true or false other than that any value greater than 0 okay any value greater than 0 that is inside these two braces uh, will result in true and any value equal to 0 is false so you can have any expression within the in, in this place which uh which will give you either 0 or more than 0 if it gives you 0 it is false if it gives you more than 0 it is true so you need to understand that either you can have true or false or you can have 0 or more than 0 okay fine now um i came to at the end of discussing while loops okay now i am going to discuss the sprint of the print of statement as i've already told you the print of statement is used to print to print text onto the screen okay it is used to print text onto the screen i think i need to cover the print of statement in the next lesson okay <laughs> that's more appropriate 